Hi, Yarn to Bees. It's Sandy. How are you today? I am so stoked. <laughs> I am so stoked, you guys. Ah, uh, I I've had a few good days. Um, and I had some happy mail come in in the last couple of days that I'm so excited to show you. Ah, okay. Where to start? Um, I'm going to start with the first one that I got. Okay. Uh, if in, uh, okay. Okay. If you guys have been watching the, our gifts of love for Sharon at Sharon's uh, crochet corner to get her wheelchair, you know that the last, um, uh, what do you call it? I don't know what, you, what the heck do you call it? It just went whoop. Anyways, Billy, the crafty Floridian had, um, started her, our gifts of love. And I won a gift. Yay. Uh, from charmed Grammy crochet. And I couldn't be more excited because when she came out with these yarn glass yarn balls that she makes, I told her girlfriend, you have to start selling these because they're going to go like hotcakes. Well, she decided not to sell them. She's giving them away as gifts. So her gift to our gifts of love was a yarn ball. And I freaking won it. I was over the moon because I wanted, I was going to buy one from, from her, from Lynette. And she never said anything. And I was like, well, like, ugh, can I buy one or what? <laughs> so anyways, I won this one and I, I talked to her and she said, what color do you want? And I said, well, obviously red, <laughs> you know, so I got it. I got it. I haven't opened it. I haven't looked at it. I saw, I think I saw her show it on her channel, uh, but I'm not sure if that one was mine. <sighs> okay. She gave me a card. Uh, I'm so pumped says thank you no thank you <laughs> sandy congrats on your win yay oh you guys you guys i am just oh crap I, do i have scissors here i had little scissors here what happened to them oh no i'm back <laughs> i told her um i says my mailman is an idiot so can you please make sure that you pack it really well? I don't want it to get broken when he decides to um, slam it and crash it uh, all over the place. <sighs> and she did. She like sandwiched it in between these um, foam pieces. And yeah, so thank you, Lynette. It was because, yeah, he was a total idiot today. <sighs> He was in fine form. Okay, come on. I love the fact that she put it in red cellophane too. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. It's coming. <laughs> She's taped it right up good. Okay. Ah. Guys. Holy cow. Okay, you ready? Should I do like Laura and give you guys the first look? What the heck is it? Okay, ready? Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, no, I guess you can't. Can you see it? white striping in it oh it's stunning oh I love it look at that and if for, the, for those of you are that, that are new I am in Canada and these are our colors oh I just I'm I am so in love with this I am going to have to 
figure out how to hang it here. Oh, thank you so much, Lynette. This is awesome. This is just, this is beyond awesome. I just, oh, this, you do such a good job. You should be really proud of yourself. Um, I don't know how to work with stained glass. I haven't got a clue. I always wanted to try it, but um, yeah, I just, I love this so much. The next video, you will see it hanging here. <laughs> okay. So next, I am so stoked. Ah! If you guys saw my post and a whole bunch of other people's posts and got the Furls email that says, hey, look what we got in. They got in pride freaking hooks. I and in the streamlines, I was just so excited because the streamline furls are my absolute favorite hooks. So I got two of them. I haven't seen them yet. I, I'm opening them up with you guys. I got a size seven and a size 10. And I got them in honor of my daughter, my oldest daughter. Oh my God. Look at these, you guys. Oh, they are beautiful. Oh, wow. Holy cow. Here's the other one. <gasps> Look at these, you guys. Aren't they gorgeous? Oh, they did it for pride. This month is pride. Oh, they are lovely. I, j I can't wait to um, work with these hooks. Oh man, I'm so stoked. I am so stoked. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, wow. They're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. See, I used to love the Odyssey hooks, but then I found with the Odyssey hooks, this part of the head wasn't very deep and my yarn started coming out really easily. Uh, and when I tried to pull my yarn through, it would slip out. And I got a whole set of them. Uh, the big ones are the worst. There's just, there no, there's no room in here for your yarn at all. Uh, so I've got a hook that I've used once and that's, and I couldn't even use it. So anyway, um, I tried out the streamlines and I've never looked back. I, these are the only hooks that I buy now. So yeah, cause they're a lot deeper. This is a size 10 and it's a lot, it's, you can still get your, your hook in there, right? Oh, I just love them. <laughs> I don't know if they still have any left. You can go and check. Uh, but yeah, there's, they go really fast. When Furls puts out their new hooks, they are gone. I am shocked that I actually got one. Um, I saw it posted on one of the Facebook sites and I hadn't even looked to see if I got an email from them. And as soon as I saw it, I ran onto the site and luckily they still had them because they just came out. Uh, but usually within a day, they're gone. So yeah, so hopefully you can get on there and get them. I I was told by a few of you that you said you've already ordered them. Um, so yay, good for you. I can't wait for you to get them because you will not be disappointed. Okay, next. I, um, uh, how do I explain this? <clears throat> I had thought about doing a collab 
with someone, uh, with another YouTuber, about doing a Stevie Nicks inspired shawl. Um, unfortunately, she was not able to do that with me. She, she was having um, health problems. So I thought, well, okay, should I still do it? You know, so anyways, I saw this woman on Etsy who, I, I can't even freaking believe it. She, I don't know if she entered a contest or what happened, but she is now Stevie Nicks's shawl designer. Oh my God, what a job that would be. Um, so anyways, she has these shawls on her Etsy page that has the name Stevie Nicks all over it so that you know that these are the original Stevie Nicks shawls. She's even got a picture of Stevie in one of her shawls. I am so freaking jealous. Oh, Stevie Nicks is a goddess. She is my everything. Um, so anyway, I was looking at her shawl and she used this glitzy um, thready kind of stuff and she used eyelash yarn. I don't like working with eyelash yarn at all. Uh, but I did H. No, no, don't talk back to me. She just had a bath. <laughs> so she. Oh. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I thought George was home for a minute, but it was our next door neighbor. Her, his, her dog, his dog must have gotten loose or something. <laughs> So Bailey was going, ah, um, so anyways, I went to, um, premiere and I bought some stuff. I have a bought a, a one ball of spangle already, but I decided I was going to pick up some of this stuff. Now I've never worked with this. I bought the ball of spangle yarn, spang, spangle, yeah, spangle yarn before, but I never used it. So this is Enchantment. And look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? But it is definitely a thread yarn. Or a thread yarn. It's not even yarn. It's like a thread. Um, yeah. Not entirely sure how I'm going to work with this, but we're going to try it. So I got three of these. And then I got... This is the Spangle. See, Spangle. Isn't that gorgeous? And the camera's not doing it justice. It's really not. It's, um, yeah. Isn't it beautiful? It's actually more of a, a deep, reddy orange. It's really pretty. So um, I got three of these. And this is actually really soft. It's, oh, and it's, hang on. This one's a bit thicker than the other one. So I got three of those. I kind of went gangbusters. <laughs> and I don't even know if I can work with this. Um, I might just pair it with a black yarn or something. I don't know. This is the one that I got before. <laughs> oh, I guess I should tell you what the colors are, shouldn't I? <laughs> okay. This one is Grand Bazaar. This one here is called Grand Bazaar. It's a lace zero. Wow. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, I'm crazy. I, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, there's 429 yards and 393 meters in this. 
okay uh, by the looks of, of that I'm probably gonna have to put two balls together or something to mix it with something else because otherwise you're not even gonna see this I don't know tell me if you've used this stuff before <sighs> okay now this one is Spanish Knights yeah definitely definitely uh, and it is a light three. God, it just hurts my brain even saying these numbers. And it is, oh, it's made in Turkey. That's why it's so soft. 150 meters, 164 yards. It's nylon and metallic. This one doesn't even say what it is. This one's very scratchy, very scratchy. This one is not. Okay, so this one is called Confetti. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then I got This one is the enchantment again, and it is disco ball. You can kind of see the different colors reflecting in it. This is so thin, holy cow. Ah, it's thread. I'm getting sweats just from looking at it. <laughs> Now this one, I just think is gorgeous. Um, this one is also the enchantment and the color is city, city at night. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, so pretty. And then I got one more. Ugh. and this is the spangle i just the spangle is so soft this one is emerald crown isn't that pretty oh very pretty okay guys uh, so yeah this this enchantment i thought was going to be like the spangle it was going to be thicker but luckily i only got two types of this um and if it works it works if it doesn't maybe i'll put it in a giveaway so i guess we'll see but yeah so i'm not entirely sure how i'm gonna do this but we'll work it out and we will see the next thing is my youngest daughter tia you guys all know her she has flown the coop she has moved out on her own actually not on her own she has a new man in her life he is i hope she's not going to get mad at me for talking about this but he is um, I've met him a couple of times and he is a sweetheart. He really is. Uh, they, they just moved in together. And so I wanted to get a package together for them, uh, with just little things, you know, it's, it, it's a mom's prerogative, right? Like mom's got to do that. So I decided that I'm going to, I've got a little box here. Hang on. I'm going to put together some just little things that they can put around the house. Okay. So I went to Walmart and I picked up a couple of tea towels and I made these. She loves red and black and gray. So I made these towel toppers or hangers or 
whatever the heck they're called for the kitchen and hang on there we go so i put a toggle clasp on it and then you just button it up and you put the towel in there you guys know how this all works like that for their kitchen right so i made two of these and i got two towels to go with them and i used oh this yarn premier oh oh geez i'm knocking everything over i'll get that in a second uh pre home the premier home cotton grand <clears throat> or big glitz in the black and silver oh forget it i'll put that up in a minute <laughs> and i knocked the card down that i got from cindy the crochet okay so i did those and then i did i i got some uh of the help me out guys scrubby stuff yarn bee is it yarn bee all right uh -huh. yeah anyway <laughs> these this stuff and uh i got that from sandy from left is right crochet and i started making some scrubbies for my daughter and her her hubby, her, her hubby, it's not her hubby yet, her, her guy. <laughs> so I started making that. And of course, I, it matches perfectly with the blue on there. So, yeah, so I started making these. And then I made a couple of swirl scrubbies. And I made some, and it, people you guys that have been with me for quite a while know that i don't do dishcloths and stuff but i decided i was going to do it for her <laughs> so i did a little flower one another flower one and then i did some of these and if I can find the tutorials that I used, I'll put them down below. I know that the tutorial for this one is Charm Grammy. No, it's not. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, it's not. It is, um, holy cow. I'll put it here. <laughs> oh, man. Woo! Okay, uh, so anyways, I did those. And then I did this. I kind of just made it up. Well, sort of made it up. Um, <laughs> it's a Kleenex box. And a little, you know. So, yeah, it's just Kleenex box cover. So, and I used... The sparkly stuff and uh, the la latte cake and then I just made a couple different pom-poms and there you go so so I made all of that so far for my daughter and her guy <laughs> I, I can't say who it is because um, I haven't got his permission so uh, yeah we'll leave it at that if she lets me tell you then i'll tell you but you know anyway okay elephant in the room boop, 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 boop. ah i finished a rowana for the first time ever i wanted to do it in canadian colors and uh i think it turned out really well um, this Ruana is 
a pattern from Blue Eyed Style. I will put the link down below. And I've been looking at eyeing her pattern for, well, since she put it up. And I've been wanting to make it. So I did. Uh, I'll see if I can put some pictures and maybe a video clip. I'll go outside and try it. On. I'll put it on and go outside and show you what it looks like on. I used, uh, what did I use? Eco cotton in red and white. Yes. So, um, why do I keep doing that? I keep touching her boob every time I show something. So it's got tassels on it on the bottom, uh, all around in the front and the back. So I finished it. Ah, it was so easy, so easy. And it, the effect is beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but there's ribbing on it. So um, I'll show it in the video. I'll try and show it a little more up close. See, you can see the ribbing on it. Uh, but yeah, definitely go and check it out because I absolutely love this pattern. And um, yeah, she did a good job on it. Yeah, she did. What else? I, I think that's every, oh, everything. I know there's other stuff I'm missing that I wanted to talk about. I've been watching a whole bunch of videos. Um, wow, Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. I thought that, you know, it was pretty extraordinary when she was doing like a four hour live. The last live she did was 10 hours long. I was working and she started it shortly, shortly after I started work, I think. And I chimed in and said hello at around 11 o'clock at night. No, it was 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And they kept going for 10, over 10 hours. Wow. What could you possibly talk about in 10 hours? Well, go check it out. <laughs> oh, man. Um, yeah. So that was that was pretty impressive uh what else good grief um there's been a lot of stuff that i've been watching what tv shows have you got or movies have you guys been watching i was been binge watch yesterday i was supposed to work and i um i just couldn't i was just absolutely drained of energy i wasn't feeling well um and i just i could barely crochet so I watched movies and I watched probably about four movies in a row on Netflix and Crave and uh, Amazon Prime. Oh, and it seems like every movie I picked was absolutely devastatingly sad. And it all had to do with the same kind of idea of a pandemic. And I was like, how did I do this? <laughs> really um yeah so i'll leave a link the a list down below of the ones that i had watched yesterday if you are interested and if you have uh netflix and prime and crave and uh yeah but they were just oh my goodness wow unreal so anyway um what else oh my goodness Oh, Little Miss, oh, Hootie Hootenin. She did a video and she was saying that she sent me a big box of stuff and she's going to be sending me a second box. Are you kidding me, girl? Like, you don't need to do that. Like, I can't only, I can only imagine what the, uh, the shipping was on that. Like, holy crap. So bad girl. <laughs> so I will let you know when that comes in and I'll show, see what the heck she sent me. I just, I'm so honored and so touched. I just, wow. Anyway. Okay. 
Um, oh, my sister is trying to call me. So I got to go. Um, I love you all so very much. And I will talk to you guys soon. Okay? Bye.